Kingston. We started with movies, which was in Crossroads. Um, and of course, Carib, which was, I think, about 1938, 30, somewhere around there it was built. And then down the Slipe Road, you had the, 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 um, the tropical. Um, going, well, on the, on the boulevard, there was a drive in. Um, and down, of course, at the end of South Camp Road, where it meets East Queen Street, there was the palace, which was where the headquarters of the Palace Amusement Company um, were. And across, along um, the East Queen Street into Rockfort there, there was a Rialto, which was an open, a lovely open-air theater. Um, and going, going further out into Harbour View, there was a drive-in. I don't, I don't think it's still um, operating. Um, then at the, at the corner of Hanover Street and East Queen Street, there was a gatey, which had there was a file. And I, I don't, I'm not sure if it ever was resuscitated. I'm not sure. Um, and then out on the Spanish Stone Road, you had the Majestic and the Tivoli. Hence the name Tivoli Gardens, I guess. <laughs> Um, and there was on the Rockfort, the, the, the Rockfort Road, I guess it is, um, which is now a church. It's, it's a church. It was, I think, called King's King's Theatre. Um, there was a Globe Theatre at um, what's the name? Uh, Marion Road meeting. Uh, meeting. Um, what's it? What's that road? Deanery. Eh? Deanery. Yes, they were all, just almost at the corner there, there was, there was a globe. And then you had, um, you had the, the Odeon, which is now a, a, a bus, bus station. Premier was a theater. Yeah, a bus theater. Yes, it, it was a lovely theater. The seats were all, could, could come back. Very, very nice theater. Um, there was one at, at Mona Road, which is now a church again. They seem to all turn into churches. Um, Tropical Down Slipe Road is, is, a, is, a, is a church. So that's about what I can remember of, of the, um, the theatres around town. And we certainly, I don't know, three, three times a week we were, at, we were at movies. A lot of westerns, you know. And, I think I think um, Rialto used to have a lot of Western Western movies, um, Charles Starrett and Tim Ritter and all these all these guys, Gene Autry. <laughs> that was that was our I think our favorite um, our favorite movies. But that's about what I can remember of the um, of the of the movies in Jamaica in Kingston rather. What was the difference in going to, like, say, an open-air cinema as opposed to going to one that was closed up? Well, the open-air open was, was I, I guess you, you, you could say that it, one part of it, of course, the upstairs was covered, and then the, other, the downstairs there was open. And um, it was, I think, I used to enjoy that, except there was one, um, there was one, January, this is going back into the, I would say, the early 60s, when I went to, to, to um, the Odeon with just a shirt on, and I nearly froze. It, the temperature went down to about 50 something, and it was cold as the devil, as you can imagine. So what happened when the rain fell now at, and you are in an open air cinema? Tell me what People would happen. People downstairs got wet and <laughs> <laughs> the upstairs people were covered so that, you know, that was not too bad. Um, but of course they, 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 it was, they, I remember the Majestic Theatre which was out on the Spanish Town Road, out by I think Tivoli, Rome Tivoli Gardens. Uh, we used to go there and the one thing that you could not do in, in those days, when they, the, every, every movie started with God Save the King or the Queen, or the, as the case may be. 
And if you stood up, you could probably lose your seat. Somebody was slipping on the, um, yeah. behind you. But <laughs> but they were everything was fine. I mean, we didn't have no. There were no, there were no no problems going to these places in those days. You know, generally speaking, the 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 crowds were were very very well behaved, if you want to call it that. And at Palace, there was a gentleman called Mr. Ver Johns, who used to have these amateur amateur shows, and um, he had these. Um, people who were thought they could sing and, and do whatever <laughs> and uh, it's a little rude but there was a there was a song uh, at the time which was sung by Bing Crosby if anybody remembers that name um, called Please and this fellow who was uh, I think he was he was um, he was known as Sleepy Valley William if he was around Kingston Club a lot. He used to bowl in the nets and so on. And he figured himself as quite a you know singer. And he went on this stage, with a big crowd, and he started out, please. And somebody in the audience says, please go to hell. And he turned around and he says, please kiss my. <laughs> and then he disappeared. <laughs> in those days, the managers of those theatres that I had, Palace and the Caribbean, all wore, wore suits and tuxedos. And one fellow who was a member of Kingston who played cricket, named Hendrix as well, Alex Hendrix, he used to, he used to um, after practice in, on an afternoon, at the club, he would dress in his, in his tuxedo and, and go down to Palace to greet the crowds and that sort of thing. And, um, Carib had had the same thing. I think movies. Um, when I used to go to movies, I was probably going to um, to Miss Butler's preparatory school in Halfway Tree, opposite to the. It's not there anymore. The, the it's just some open land, I think, opposite to Holy Cross Church. I used to take the tram car and and go into Crossroads, um, and I could go to I could go to movies and I could pay for my um, travel with a shilling, which is now 10 cents, isn't it? Because to go into movies at my age was seven, seven pence halfpenny. And the bus fare from, from um, the tram car fare from halfway three to Crossroads was a penny. And from Crossroads to my house at Copefield Avenue, was another penny. So you, you could take a shilling and, in, and have a wonderful afternoon. So sorry, I forgot the Ward Theatre. Yes, the Ward Theatre, we used to go every boxing day to the pantomime. Um, they used to have a, 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 a put on a pantomime. Um, with a lot of, a lot of um, good actors and uh, of course I think if, if I'm not mistaken the men play the part of women which is nothing strange these days I mean. <laughs> um, <laughs> and the women were, play the man the man and there were a lot of different fairy tales I think there, there was a lot of, of pantomimes that copied Cinderella and all of that sort of thing um, that was a sort of a boxing day treat that we were, we were given to um, by our parents. Uh, and after that, it turned into, um, it turned into mo a movie theater. How much was to go into the ward as opposed to going into Odeon or Carib? Was it the same amount? It would have been, yes. I, no, I don't know, I'm not sure, because I think the ward theater turned it, was turned into a movie theater later on. So it may have been, Two and sixpence or something. I don't remember that. But for the for the um, pantomime, of course, we didn't pay because we went with our parents, you know. So they were the ones looked after the financial part of it. But um, no, we we. Have, I mean, I used to go to movies three, four times a week because we didn't have television in those days, and that was that was our main form of entertainment, you know. 
as a young as a youngster. Did you go there on a date? Yeah, well, it, it, later on in life, yeah, later on, not not in not in the in the early fifties, but you know, very shy. I was a very shy person. Um, <laughs> but anyhow, um, yeah, man, we used to take. We used to, I remember one, there was a lovely lady, lovely girl, when we were young, teenagers. A lovely girl who lived, who, uh, her father, I think, was from Savlamar or somewhere like that. Um, Harvey, I think her name was Harvey. And anyway, she, she used to come to town um, and stay on, at, on Montrose Road with some friends, people who went to Wilmers actually. And two of us decided that we'd invite her to, to, um, to the carrier. So we went upstairs, big deal. And at the end of this cinema, uh, we took her home. The fellow was Dermot Thompson. Dermot and I were talking about our, our date. You know. And he said to me, man, I held her hand right through. I said, so did I. <laughs> Either side of her, <laughs> we were holding hands. <laughs> Which, of course, in those days was a very big thing for me because I was a young kid and not not all that sort of, um, how can I put it, you know, very shy and things. Um, so, you know, we, we had our dates definitely after that and without Dermot. <laughs> And um, we thoroughly enjoyed the, 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 the life. Well, do you remember any of the movies that you saw at, at these cinemas that were, you know, like outstanding? I mean, James oh, yes. Bond. Tell me about like James Bond, well, James the harder Bond, they come. James Bond wasn't in my time as a youngster. We had, we had, we had more cowboys. Um, Gene Autry and Hopalong Cassidy and Charlie Starrett and these fellas. Um, and also, a little later on, there came out with some lovely um, musical musical films, which I don't see them have really again. You know, um, Springtime in the Rockies with, with, with Betty Grable, and, who was a pin-up lady at the time, um, and John Payne, and you know, there, it was, there were lovely movies and a lot of, a lot of a lot of music, like Harry James would be in it, and you know. Then you have, of course, you had you had songs, you had ones like the Bells of St Mary, um, um, with Big Crosby, and a, a, a sort of a chorus. Um, wonderful, wonderful pictures. There was no real science fiction in those days. I don't think we had we had any of those things. Um, but you know, the 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 musicals were were really lovely. Um, you know, you had lovely singers and bands. In those days, the big bands, you know, the Glenn Miller and that sort of thing. Um, so it, it, those were those were wonderful, uh, wonderful pictures. And of course, the other thing was that I think it must have been in the in the 40s, 40s, yes, would have been in the 40s, at Carib, every Friday evening, you had a, a, a local band. Um, you had Red Rock Cook and his orchestra, and this one and his orchestra, McPherson and his orchestra, and it, it, it had a, a big following. And for some reason, I don't know why, I was at Miss Butler's at the time, and I wanted to come go to the Friday movie. And my mother forbid me to go. No, you're not going to you do not. And one day, one evening after after school, I went to, to the crossroads to carry him, snuck in to carry him, and enjoyed the music and the film. And guess who I run? I bump into when I come out of the theatre was my mother. She said, "What are you doing here?" <laughs> and I said, oh, "I'm just enjoying it." I said, 
Well, I won't do anything. I won't say anything more. I'll wait until you get home. And that was a threat, and it was carried out <laughs> to my. <laughs> to my, uh, I, I, it's my my daddy had a had a um, tam a, a tambourine switch, which was one of the worst things you could get hit with because it's strong, you know. And I got a little switching when when I got home after the after going to the movies on the Friday, but. You know, we loved movies, there was nothing else to do really. You had the radio, but, but the movies were the, were the drawing card, you know, and you had all the, as I said, all these westerns and so in those days. Every, every, and they had a thing called serials at the movies, which every Thursday you got three, three episodes. The Man with the Iron Claw and, and, and the the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, that sort of thing. And uh, you went there every Thursday to catch up and, and what is the next, the, next, um, the next episodes, you know? And I forgot the state, state theatre, which was, which was later, later on. Um, and it was just, a, I think it was the corner of um, Retirement Road and, 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 and Halfway Tree Road. Um, almost opposite to where the movies would have been if, if they knocked it down, of course. And, um, but it was it was a it was a, a very very dangerous place because it was a wooden place and it was a fire trap, really, you know. But thank God, nothing nothing happened. It was, but it used to have some nice movies that we used to go to and enjoy, you know. So state was a wooden building. Movies, movies was a. Tell Mo me about movies. Well, movies was, was a gentleman called Mr. Lewis was a, was a sort of manager. In his, he wore a, a, a Panama hat, you know, the, the straw hat thing. And he was in his jacket and tie and thing. And, for, and um, it, was, it was a very basic movie, a movie hub, moving hub, moving picture house. It was nothing outstanding like the Carib. I mean, it wasn't, um, the seats were just ordinary. It wasn't padded like Carib, you know, and all that. But they had some very good movies, and, and it was very popular at the time. What, what about horror movies now? You remember any other horror movies that were shown at, like, Carib or...? Frankenstein, yes. There was Frankenstein, and there were, you know, quite a few, a few horror movies. Um, I don't remember uh, all of them, but, but certainly they had a one with Frankenstein and his helper, Igor. <laughs> um, I don't remember any more um, of those sort of, but there must have been, you know, there must have been. Sure well, these, these movies, were they black and white or were they color? They were black and white when I, when, when first I went to, they were black and white. And then it started to come, you know, started to come into a, a color situation. And then, I uh, can't remember what they called it now. Technicolor, no? Technicolor. Um, and then, the, the, of course, the, the, the things like the Bells of St. Mary, that was a black and white picture. Um, Bing Crosby, and I think, if I'm not, I hope I'm not mistaken, Ingrid, Ingrid Bergman or somebody like that, some beautiful, beautiful girl. Um, they had this thing, and um, the Bells of St. Mary, it was a lovely show. Lovely show, a lot of um, a lot of good singing, good music, you know. Did you go to any silent movies? No, I don't remember any silent movies. No, I think I think there there's part that was before my my time. Yes. So, what was it like when color came in to the movies? Oh, it was it was a wonderful um, a wonderful innovation. I mean. It, it sort of livened up the livened up the, the um, but all the all the the westerns were were black and white, you know. And it's only later on that they they, they brought in the technical um, thing. But of course, technical was made things a lot brighter, and you know, it was it was very um, it was a good 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 forward move. What were people like? What did how was their behavior when they went to the the cinema? Well, the, the, 
As I told you about Sleepy Valley Williams, there were little rockers at, Car at Palace when he was singing. <laughs> but they used to boo a lot of the, the, these little contestants and so on. But of course you had the, you had the, the shouts when they were chasing, you know, the posse was chasing the bad, the bad men. And of course, go, go, go. So everybody was, was, was happy, more, much more happy than I think we might be these days. Tell me more about Carib now. Carib was a theater and a cinema together. Well, it was a cinema originally, um, but they did have, like, um, we had Nat King Cole, Johnny Mathis, and these fellows came and, and performed at the Carib. Um, and I remember, I remember Roy Lawrence, who was a sports reporter for ZQ, uh, um, RJR in those days. Um, he had a he had a sports program where he would people would be asked questions and um, and they would try and answer sports questions, you know. And I remember eventually um, a fella from JC, Laurie Foster. He came second he, in his, in his, he was, he was so full of sports, the sports knowledge of, of all these results and everything, you know, and it was, it was well attended by the, the, the crowds, the crowds used to um, enjoy that. Tivoli now, the name changed to Queens, if I remember correctly. I don't, did it? I probably, I, I don't remember, I don't remember that. I remember Kings out in the 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 um, rock road, the road, Windward Road, yeah. Windward Road. Um, but I don't Queens. I remember Queens. I remember the name Queens. I don't think I ever went to the Queens. I went to it when it was Tivoli. Tivoli and, and, and Majestic were not too far apart. You know. yeah. What was it like to go to the um, the drive-in cinema now? Well, that was great because you, you just drove your car in and, you know, you, you could, you had your little lady with you, you could make out and so on. Sometimes you didn't watch a picture at all, but, um, <laughs> but that was, that was one on the boulevard and the other one was, as I said, out in, out in Harbour View, but it, it closed down, um, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't be able to remember when it closed down. But it was, it was a loss to us because we used to enjoy that, you know. So you remember inside of um, War Theatre, what was it like inside well, of War? I thought it was very basic actually, you know, when I said that, I mean, nothing like the Carib. I don't think that the, the, the padded seats and all that sort of thing, I don't remember that. Um, being at the ward at the time. I don't know whether they changed it since then, you know? But I hadn't been, obviously, I, I hadn't been to the, back to the wards theater, the ward theater for, for, for many, many, many years. I, I, we all sort of kept to the Caribbean and the Paris and the, and the tropical and Rialto and that sort of thing, you know? But do, there were a lot of, lot of good movies in those days. I thought good movies, what I considered good movies. I'm not into the science fiction thing and, and that sort of thing, really, to be honest. But um, you know, it just there was there was no other there was no other uh, no other thing to keep your attention. So movies was a big the big deal. You know? What is your most memorable movie? Oh my goodness, there's so many of them. Well, I I I, I think that. I, th I enjoyed all the James, James Bond movies. And, you know, there, was, there were so many, there were a lot of war pictures, as you can imagine, during the 1939 to 1945, 46. A lot of war movies, which again, you know, were, were very interesting to us. Um, but I don't know, I, I, I enjoyed most of the, most of the offerings. Um, um, and as, as time has gone on, I went, I was fewer and fewer times at the movies because television came in, you know. Um, so, so it, um, special movies that, that, that you, that you wanted to, to, to look at. There were a lot of detective, detective, um, 
movies as well in the old days, you know, um, The Thin Man and, and um, that, that sort of thing. Um, swashbucklers, pirates, whatnot. They, 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 um, there was a, there were, there were quite a few of those. Um, the, but the mutiny, but, and there's a one that was a very good one, which I enjoyed, was called the Cane Mutiny with Humphrey Bogart, who was Captain Krieg, and he was a very, very bad, I mean, he was di very difficult to the, to his crew members, and eventually they, they reported him for things that he that he did, and he was brought up before the the um, the committee, the, the what you call them now, the the navy, the navy brass, and he he he, he was uh, you know had all this. Some of his crew were were the were the um, witnesses against him, and it was a very very good movie, excellent movie. And then, of course, you had things like the Maltese Falcon with Bogart again, which was a, which was a, um, a, a another sort of detective type of, of movie. Yeah, man, it, it was it had some very, very good movies in those enjoyable movies in those days. And as I say, I haven't been to a movie now for I don't know twenty years <laughs> at least. Who is your favorite actor and actress? That's a difficult one. Well, there was a, a different in, a, in their different roles, you know. I mean, Bogart was a great actor. Casablanca, one of the great, one of the great movies of all times. Casablanca with him and I think um, um, this this who is it now? Um, Ingrid Bergman, I think was. That was a great show. Um, you know, B B Bogart was a great. It was a great one. Um, I used to, he was excellent. But there were so many good ones, you know. It was difficult, it's difficult to, to pick anyone particularly out, you know. Did you see the holiday come? Yes, man, of course. Tell me all about that when you went there first. What that's was a, that? That's a long time ago, you know. You're testing my memory. <laughs> no, it, um, I, I remember the holiday come. Um, it was it was a rage in Jamaica. I mean, it was it was everybody wanted to, to go and see it, you know. Um, you, 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 so we went and enjoyed it very much. I, I can't remember the, the details of it, but it was it was a very good show. It was at X twenty one and over. There there were certain ratings for movies in there. Do you remember all the ratings? And can can you tell me about them? No, I can't. I, I really don't remember anything that was. You know, would have would have um, worried me as a as a as a youngster. I, I don't. So you just went in. No, yeah, I wasn't a youngster quite then. You know, I was I was. I think I just, I don't remember what year it was in, but I don't think I was. I was I must have been out of school by then. I would have thought. You know. Tell me what was Regal like. I think, well, I I don't know. There was any particular thing. It was it was open air, isn't it? Wasn't it? No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was a closed theatre. It was a closed theatre. Yeah, but you know, I think some of us enjoyed the tropical, the the um, the, the Odeon and that sort of thing. Open open air, open air theatre when it was when it was uh, we were upstairs. Hardly ever went downstairs. It was, it was cheap. I mean, two shillings. I think two shillings. And a truck and sit downstairs and two and six upstairs or two shillings or something. Yeah. So you know we we, we had um we had I think there was about three or three or four of us who used to go to these movies on a Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, you know. And we, we had a very good time managing. We all enjoyed them. What was the seating like downstairs? Hard, hard, you know, hard, um, not the, 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 the cushioned ones like upstairs. It was the hard ones that, that, that were downstairs, obviously because of rain and all that, you know. But, um, you know, man, we, we had, I had a wonderful, I don't know, I enjoyed my, my, um, my, my youth a lot. <laughs> 